Hi, it's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year. Race 6, call now or play online, www.trackandball.co.za, FM 66 handicap for fillies and mares over 1200 metres. Race 6 jumps at 15.15, a total of 8 runners, no card changes to report at this stage. Another compact field, number 3, Kylie's Fate, opened favourite, anti-post at 22-10. This is a runner that I quite like. I've had a close look at the replays and the recent runs. Rachel Finnecker is now aboard, carrying 54 and a half, holding solid form. The last run was very good despite being brushed. And I do think that the 1200 meters is gonna make all the difference here for number three, Kylie's fate. Dee's unbankering the source in the place accumulator. Yeah, I agree. Place accumulator, she looks like a banker. And I'll just add to what you mentioned. Uh, last two runs, you know, the draws were 9 out of 11 and 10 out of 11. And she now gets a good draw of three. So while she does not have the claim four anymore on her back, uh, you know, she is uh, beautifully drawn. And uh, one has to congratulate Rachel Vinica as well in our riding her 60th winner. Now, no more claiming. And we wish her all the best. Uh, this filly, the one thing that I noticed last time out after watching her win at a penultimate start where she went to the front and she led start to finish over 1200 is that you can race her from off the pace as well, you know, as she did last time out from that poor draw. It was uh, a run that uh, many would have been surprised you now that she's found herself towards the back of the field, but she ran on smartly behind the front runner magically that day. So. You could say she's versatile as well. So while she doesn't have the claim for, she has the good draw. And uh, Devon's banker in the place accumulator and my banker in the place accumulator as well. But we have to touch on a few others here, Devon. Just quickly, uh, just lend your thoughts to number one, Red Rosser, guard puller's <coughs> runner who's got a low weight, 51 and a half kg. We've made Winter's Destiny a good thing in the previous race. She did have the beating of Winter's Destiny at a penultimate start and she drops to a 1200 as well. And then uh, this horse called Not Now Pussycat. Now, I want to mention her because my only concern is how fit she is for this race. How ready is she for, for this race? Have they done enough work for her to put in a winning performance? Because she is a course and distance specialist. Yes, you summed it up brilliantly, uh, Dees. I had a good look at the source number seven, not now Pussycat, and I've got the same concerns that you do as well. Yes. She does form part of my top five selections. Um, so I have thrown her into the play, but uh, the question mark is the fitness there. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe the guys who are working on a Monday at Hollywood Bets, Cravel, can possibly get a comment from Gary Rich on what he's expecting for number seven, not now Pussycat, or... You know, uh, Anthony Delpesh always on course from the Hollywood Bet Syndicate. Maybe they could, you know, just uh, give us their thoughts on whether she's going to need it or she is ready because she is ready and she's a massive runner. And then number five, Flying the Star. I had a good look at her, uh, Corinne Mistel, Richard uh, Donovan Dillon, but I just feel if you have a look at her profile that she seems to prefer. Hollywood bets, Scottsville. <coughs> so, in summarizing, we are going with a banker here in the place accumulator number three, Kylie's fate. Uh, are we in agreement with that, Devon? 100%. Of the balance, uh, numbers one and seven are the horses that catch my eye. And then if you are going to play it wide, my suggestion, if you don't like our top three, then include the field. 100%, you hit the nail on the head. Uh, my top five selections is going to be numbers three, one, eight, seven, and six. So I quite like number three. I'll probably banker that in the trifecta and quartets and throw in a few runners after that. 
hoping you can get one or two outsiders there. Dees, quickly before we wrap up uh, number six, what do you make of number eight, Miss Gibson? I know that she uh, last run was at the 20th of March. She's been tried over various uh, distances. I see they went 12, 14, 16, back to the 14, now 19, 50. Do you think uh, they possibly could be starting over again with her just to see where she is at? I don't know the thinking behind the 1200, but you could clearly see that when uh, she was stretched last time out over 19.50, she did not see out the distance at this stage in her career. Her two previous runs over a mile and 1400 meters went the worst of runs, and of course she's a maiden winner over 1400 meters. Again, you know, we mentioned it with, with uh, Winter's Destiny, dropping in distance, I made it a good thing. We have to respect Yoga's governor now bringing this filly back to 1,200 meters, and they've gone with the cheek pieces on again. Maybe this will sharpen up. And when these equipment changes are made for most of the runners, or should I say for majority of these runners, it's not just tried on race day. Uh, these stables, they would try the equipment back home before declaring it, and it's not some a hit and miss and uh, trying to hit the bullseye in, in the dark. It's something that's tried at home, and if it works at home, then why not use the equipment chain? So the cheek pieces may have certainly worked and may have just you know, enhanced her, uh, her, uh, her speed uh, back home. You know? So let's see how number eight, Miss Gibson, goes here. And uh, yeah, she could be the joker of the pack if enjoying the drop in distance. And then Pantia, if we're talking about Miss Gibson, I have to speak about Pantia then, because the form line of a maiden has seen Vision of Will come out to win and uh, uh, another uh, runner as well that has won uh, from uh, that form line. So there have been two winners from that form line, and we'll see how this one goes, number four, Pantia, because they have engaged the services of Richard Foree. So it looks like a tricky race now that we look at it and try and assess the form of the other runners, but Kylie's fate is going to be a place accumulator banker. <music>I bet with internet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account.